Welcome to Noonday Prayer. We'll begin in about four minutes on page 103 of your Book of Common Prayer. This will be Noonday Prayer for Monday of Holy Week. Welcome, welcome. As you're logging on, if you want to go ahead and mark Psalm 36 on page 632 of your prayer book, it's page 632, that would, that's where we're going to be heading for our psalm. Hi, Mark. Glad you're here. Can uh, Let me know if uh, my sound is working okay today, if you um, can hear me okay. If y'all want to let me know who's here praying, you can put your name over in the uh, comments. Hi, Christina. Glad you're here. Uh, and you can also put your prayer request in those comments section. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate the uh, sound check. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer at home or wherever you are, you can go to BCP online and uh, go to Daily Offices and click on page 103 and you can find the readings there. We'll give folks a few more minutes to log on. Christina, I see that prayer request, and we will definitely remember her. Christina, you can double please all you need. We will uh, we will say extra extra prayers for her. Hi, Frida. Glad you're here. It was good to see you yesterday. We'll get started in just a little bit, making sure everybody has time to log on at noon. All right, we will say our prayers together beginning on page 103. And we'll be using the readings and the colics for um, Monday of Holy Week. There are special readings and prayers for this special week. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please turn to page 632. We'll say together a part of Psalm 36. Page 632. Psalm 36, verses 5 through 11. We leave off the last verse. Psalm 36, verse 5, let's say it together. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. 
For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favor to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading for today is from John, and will also be used tonight. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief, and he kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. And Jesus said, Leave her alone. She brought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because Jesus of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. As we look at this Holy Week, we remember that we do this together. We don't mourn and grieve and we don't go through painful things by ourselves. This little group praying together is exactly a, ref a reflection of that. And in a book called Get Over Yourself, God's Here, and Kate Moorhead wrote uh, about Lent. And she said this for the Monday of Holy Week. The only, and thinking about Mary and Martha and Lazarus and the disciples and Jesus about to face something really hard, she says, the only remedy I've ever found for sorrow is community. Something powerful happens when sorrow is shared, when our pain is shared with one another. Sharing eases loneliness, and though it does not remove despair, it does help people to learn to live again. I think God often gives us to each other. God knows that some of the best, most loving ministry is done from one person to another. Christ acts mo most powerfully in and through us. Christ gives us each other to ease the pain. Christ's compassion is expressed in community. If, we are, if you are in pain, if you are grieving, if you are in sorrow, do not let yourself be alone too much. Let others care for you. Surround yourselves with people who care, who understand, and who listen. Jesus would want you to do that. So in this Holy Week, Jesus is with the people that care about him, letting them pour perfume on his feet and care for him. And we here at St. Mark's invite you to share this Holy Week with us, not letting yourself be alone with the sorrows and the grief and the pain that we carry in this world, but also just do that in community where our burden is lightened and where we remember there is something bigger than all of us going on here. Continuing on page 106 in the middle of the page. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Dear God, we offer our prayers before you this day. We pray for Michael Mitchell, 
for Sam Atkinson and give thanks for a holy Monday. Carolyn Morrissey, Vicki Kellogg, Frida Winkler, Christina McGee and her mama, Nina McGee, for Mark Davis, and for all others who are in our hearts and minds this day, we'll sit in silence for a moment as we remember this holy week and all that God came to show us. Pray for St. Mark's. Give thanks for this community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. That concludes noonday prayers. I do invite you all to show up tonight at 5.30 uh, to come to the little chapel at the back of the big church and uh, to say prayers and uh, celebrate the Holy Eucharist with us. We'll be doing this today, tomorrow, and Wednesday at 5.30. And then Thursday at 6.30 is Monday Thursday with foot washing, stripping of the altar. Friday, you can come to the church at noon for Good Friday services. And 6.30 is the big grand Easter vigil with bells and new fire and all, all the good things that are, that are the church this week. And then join us for Easter uh, for two morning services. Hope you have a really good Holy Week walking in the way of the cross with Jesus. Stay together. Don't forget about community. Take care of each other. Bye.